Fleet, and welcome back to Captain's Academy Episode 2 with your instructor Chase. This episode will teach you what you need to do as a United States Navy cruiser. However, this episode will not cover the Imperial Japanese Navy cruisers since they have a very different kind of playstyle. Anyways, on to the USN cruisers. American cruisers have a few primary roles. Most importantly, A cover for the larger ships, followed by countering cruisers and DDs, while guarding your capital ships, and then if possible, depending on the situation, adding your firepower to a battleship on battleship gunfight, and being constantly aware of what's actually happening so you can make the play that helps your team win the fight. But let's start with the most important role of all first, a cover for larger ships. As many of you have probably noticed, there are a lot of people right now screaming that carriers and their torpedo bombers are OP and need to be nerfed. But the truth of the matter is that carriers are actually really underpowered. The only reason they even appear remotely overpowered is because people haven't learned two things. One, sticking together, and two, using their cruiser's auto win carrier counter ability. The anti-aircraft barrage, as indicated here and activated by the Y key, is possibly the most overpowered special ability in the game. It is the only ability that allows one class of ship to completely neutralize another class of ship at a single press of a button no skill required. This skill has basically two effects on planes. One, it causes them to panic and screw up their spreads, and two, you shoot more of them down. But why are people failing with the skill? Too many people are activating the skill way too early, giving the carrier drivers the ability to pull their planes away. As you'll watch in this video clip, I'm going to be holding this ability back until I see the planes starting to engage into an attack pattern. Once I see that they are starting to commit to an attack, I turn the ability on, and by then the carrier driver has pretty much made up his mind to attack. And as you can see, the torpedo spreads go completely haywire, they are these huge fans, and it makes even in these very very tight quarters easy for a battleship to dodge most of them. And of course I will not even be hit at all. Now imagine what happens if two cruisers actually use some teamwork and stagger this ability. It will allow two ships to completely neutralize a carrier without having to use any real skill at all and just simply press one button. Another crucial role for American cruisers is being the cruiser destroyer counters when you're escorting the larger battleships and carriers. That's because the American cruisers are gunships. They don't really have the torpedoes to take on battleships like their Japanese cousins do, but they are absolutely lethal against destroyers and cruisers that try to hunt down your capital ships. So take a quick look at this particular clip and you can see that I put the hurt on the Japanese cruiser and destroyer as they try to get close to the BB that I was escorting. Team has taken the lead. Enemy destroyer blown up. Now, this doesn't mean that the only thing that American cruisers are good for are shooting DDs and cruisers. American cruisers are equally lethal against other enemy battleships. However, you should not be the primary combatant. Usually, you're just adding your firepower to another ship's firepower to do even more damage. So take a look at this clip while I help out my team with the enemy Fuso. The enemy team has taken the lead.
But the most important thing of all when you're playing American cruisers is being tactically flexible. You have to be constantly aware of what's happening and you should do absolutely everything you can to help your team win. And that includes sometimes sacrificing yourself for the greater good. So let's take a look at another battle. Now in this particular battle clip that I'm showing you right now, I'm in my Pensacola and there's an enemy battleship over there and half health Nagato. And I'm really the only ship that can engage this Nagato. And I am going to make the play here. Because if I can sink this Nagato or damage it heavily, the points trade-off is significantly in my team's favor. A cruiser is after all only worth 65 points, but a battleship is worth 150. So let's see what happens. destroyed so my fellow captains I hope that some of these tips have now helped you understand your role better as an American cruiser and realizing that you are actually a major force to be reckoned with while on the high seas here are some of my after battle reports and as you can see doing 60 to 70 thousand damage in a tier 7 US cruiser is not that difficult now go out there and sweep the seas clean of all who stand before you and that's all folks for episode 2 of Captain's Academy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe as I'll be uploading more videos in the upcoming days and weeks. Aside from that, stay tuned for episode 3 which should deal with how to dodge torpedoes. And aside from all that, I'll see you all on the high seas soon.